to open the crew and get a third member, especially if we get attacked or something. Maybe you'll see it from here. I saved many of my uh, old mates for That's too bad. If Darwin was on, this guy is an absolute killer, man. Pick it, pick it. Just it, I've seen the, one of my old mates that I haven't played with, I haven't spoken to this guy in years, he's played with him. He's online, so I just sent him an invite. This guy's an absolute god on this game. Hopefully he'll join. Oh look, there's the pod. Let's get the pod right next to us. Let's go. Man, and I'm always down to talk to you, brother. Uh, yeah, give me a second. Yeah, you're not want to go. You're not going to want to go too fast through here because you're going to run into a lot of shit. All right, Twitch, and I guess it's just collectors going digital on Twitch. Oh, it's on YouTube. Oh, okay. Right. First live stream VBAMA while collecting treasure and sea of thieves. Yep, so starting soon. Just starting soon. Right next to one of the biggest islands in the game, you can see it.
Yep. Oh no, is it running? Is it running? Is it running properly? Hang on a sec. There we go. Alright, we should be live now. We good? We good? I think so. Alright, sweet as. Yeah, check that out, man. You can see the island right next to us. Biggest, one of the biggest islands in the game. You can barely even see it until you're right on it. Yeah, I've been paying attention at all. What is going on, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first stream. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm going to wait a little bit for more people to join here, but... Actually, all right, what are... this happens to be the island we need to go to. Yeah, what are we doing here? Well, like I explained to you, you got that uh, compass there, like in your in your map radial. Yeah. And you follow that to dig up the next piece of the map. All right. I'm following you, dude. Well, I'm following my compass. Did you just see uh, the video that Falcon posted of the Stormtrooper? No, what's that all about? Oh, dude, you got to watch it. Best one yet. Yeah? He, uh, he did one with his son. So funny. <laughs> There's like an army of Stormtroopers. Oh, oh, army of Stormtroopers just standing on the street. <laughs> uh, like, uh, what do you do that with? Uh, well, I guess I guess VV gave him access to the uh, collectible before the drop as like a little. Oh, wait, promo. is it the stormtroopers or the or the scout trooper? The no, 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 the, the stormtrooper that's dropping tomorrow. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. That's interesting. Cool. Who's shooting? I saw. I just saw uh, your little short with the contage, man. That looks pretty damn good. Oh, the Lambo. I can't wait to see that. Not real. Yeah, Fro commented on that, saying that uh, apparently in uh, the VB verse, the details are like way, 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 way better. Well, that's what I see when I was looking at that. All I could see was like what it's going to look like in Unreal. Oh, it's going to be amazing. By the way, I should probably explain what we're doing to pe uh, for people in the chat. We're just, uh, we're kind of just, oh, damn. We're just roaming like random uh, islands. Completing some quests and uh, collecting some treasure. So if you guys have any questions about, uh, you know, what's happening with Vivi lately. Did I just die? Damn it. Yeah, it's all right, man. I got you. I got you. But if you guys have any questions about what's happening with Vivi, new verticals. Um, I know there's been, uh, I was speculating on what the different colors could be and stuff like that in, uh, in the past few days. So any questions, toss them in the chat. We'll happy to answer them. And uh, for the record, I think uh, CGD is uh, going to be doing a series. The reason we're playing this game in particular, it's one that he chose uh, for the reason that uh, it's really very collector-based. Like, all of the rewards you get for playing this game as you level up, move through the world, are all cosmetic. Uh, so it's really, if, for, for VV people, it's, it's really well built with the, the reward system that they have. I think you'll appreciate it. By the way, I didn't even introduce you, dude. I'm a terrible host. What the hell? <laughs> By the way, <laughs> no, you're good, man. For uh, for anyone who is active over on X, that's where you're most active, right? Oh yeah, definitely by yeah. far. X and YouTube, I'd say. Awesome. We uh we got Duck. Oh, well, like covered. in people's <laughs> chats. Yeah. We got uh we got Duck and Cover joining us, so he's gonna be uh he's gonna be playing a variety of different games. So uh, we're just starting the first one off with uh, Sea of Thieves. What's going on, Robel? Keep up cre creating the great content. Always awesome content and thoughtful content. Appreciate it, man.
Not even looking at my screen or playing here. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, by the way, guys. Duck, hi, can I call you Duck, by the way? You certainly may. Cool. Duck ship is called the VV app. So uh, we're, <laughs> we're, yeah. we're repping it. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, like, I, I haven't played for uh, quite a while until you invited me to come on and have a game that, you know. But uh, from time to time, I do jump on just to rep it because, you know, when you got the captain's ship and uh, somebody looks at your ship through the spyglass, they, they get a big banner that says VV app on their screen and everything. So <laughs> I just come on here to advertise. Uh, all right, so we got the next. Oh no, got the next piece of the map. Yeah, I'm, I, I was help us. We crooks hollow though. I was a little clumsy, dude. I fell off the cliff and died again, so I'm on my way back. I did the same thing, but I didn't <laughs> die. But I think I might kill myself because I reckon I might find the ship faster. Yeah, bollocks. Have you found the treasure or no? Oh, yeah, we were just here to find a piece of the map. All oh, right, yeah, sorry. So we've got the second piece, and it's definitely Crook's Hollow, but we don't have the X yet. Oh, damn, where am I? I'm just I'm just letting the skeleton kill me, so I go back to the ship. <clears throat> I was telling you about the islands that everybody hates. This is one of them. Why? Because it's so bloody big, that has got a cave system that's quite confusing, and uh, yeah, it's really quite uh, annoying trying to find anything on this island. Oh, really? Oh shoot, what the? Oh. God! Oh, I'm dead again, I'm dead again. I suck at this game. Yeah, man, I reckon a partnership between this game and Vivi would be awesome, especially with uh, what I was telling you earlier about there being like quite a, an intricate lore to this game with a lot of characters and things. So, you know, it wouldn't have to be just cosmetics from the game that they dropped. There are actual uh, like real, really intricate uh, storylines involving deep characters and stuff. And if they drop those on there, I reckon see if these people would come to Vivi. You know, I, I think this is where NFTs are. I think this is the next step for NFTs. Is um, I, I covered a platform called Wilder World, and um, yeah, I've seen you posting about that. That looks pretty cool. Well, I I, I think they have it spot on, but I, I think the next step because the first step for NFTs was all this PFP stuff, right? The ten thousand collections. I think this next step is going to be where, I, I mean, creators like me will create an avatar, right? And then that avatar will be a fully 3D rigged avatar that, you know, my audience can use in some sort of game. And then the next step to that is now offering some sort of accessory for the avatar. And then it could be a pet, it could be a vehicle, it could be clothing, a weapon. And then what you're essentially doing is you're creating your whole game inventory, but you don't have a game yourself. It's just things that you can use in other games, right? So I, I think yeah. that's I think that's where NFTs are kind of heading, at least on the gaming side. Um, I, I think you're right, actually. I think that's the way it's got to go. I mean, you, the, you've already seen the start of it in like Call of Duty, where they had like a, well, I think it was Call of Duty or some game like that, maybe Fortnite or somewhere, where they actually had the avatars of uh, like YouTubers, uh, streamers of the game. Now, if you could do that for yourself as NFTs. Create your own avatars, your own brands, your own, you know, lines of clothing for your avatars and all that sort of thing, man. That would just be gold. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think you're right. I think that's where we're headed eventually. I don't expect the Viviverse to be that, at least not at first. Actually, you know what? That's crazy too is, um, I'm glad you said Viviverse because Vivi updated their terms and conditions and they changed, um, one of their first points in their terms and conditions talks about three apps. So you have the main collectibles app, you have the comics app. And then they talk about the Viviverse app, where you're going to be able to sell properties. Yeah, I noticed that. So... Oh, did they... How old is that article? Oh, that's the new terms and conditions, that's conditions the new, you said? That's the new terms and conditions. Wow. You also saw something in there about selling on third-party uh, marketplaces and whatnot. Uh... I there was don't. something in the new updated terms and conditions about that, about selling on uh, third, uh, third party marketplaces. Yeah. You the, have a look at that, man. I'll share that with you. 
Yeah, send it to me because I, I don't know the specific point you're talking about, but the um, the VBverse app has me interested because I was speculating right before that what the different colors could be, and I was like, the uh, the blue is obviously collectibles, green is comics, and then on their uh, now newly revised site, they advertise red as like the VV market, and I was like, okay, sure, but at the same time, comics, both comics and collectibles have a a market I, I i don't know if they're going to dedicate like a full color to the market so orange to me could be like the vbverse app or something like that but red i keep coming back to marvel mighties because they they're showing a spider-man on the banner and i'm like that would be and just assuming that they have any sort of plans in place with the marbles to take them further for the mighties yeah. if they dedicate a full color to it red would be the color right marvel um oh get cannonballs bro Get cannonballs, get wood, get food. Why? What's happening? Where are you getting attacked by a skilly ship? Oh, dude, I never... Yeah, I don't know if it's a sloop or a galleon. I've never been on this ship, so I don't know where everything is. Oh. What do we got? got oh, it's a galleon bollocks. Oh. Uh, you got to hit it at the bottom so they get bottom holes, otherwise uh, they don't uh, fill up with water. What's everyone saying in the chat? How's everyone doing? I don't even know if I'm hitting them, dude. Oh, I've got to get us a bit closer here. Oh, yeah, I am. We really should have a third person on this ship. Oh, it looks like we're winning. Oh, we've got a Megalodon as well. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repair. You shoot. All right. Okay. Is it already sunk? We already sunk it. What the hell? Man, that went down easy. Um. Is there only one? I think there was only one. Oh no, I am wrong. Dude, that went down so easy. What happened? Who did you say this game was uh, the, the studio behind it again? Uh, Rare Studios. Rare Studios. I don't know much about them, but I know that uh, Vivi already has like Ubisoft and stuff like that. So I'm really curious to see what they're going to do in the gaming yeah. department because I know people keep saying like, oh, they think that one of these colors is going to be a gaming thing. And I'm, I'm kind of like, as much as I wish that's going to be a thing, at the same time, I'm like... I, I don't really know if they're going to have, like, a full department dedicated to gaming right now. If, like, the VVverse has kind of had the delays that they it's oh, had, you no, know what I'm saying? Oh, no, I would on that anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they really want to just kind of focus on the collecting side, so. Uh, you know, I, this is this is a really, another really good example of uh, why I don't lose faith in VV, uh, this game. Because this game was famously empty of content when it first started man to the point where people just stopped playing it and everyone said it was boring and it's you know it's not going anywhere and i was here from the beginning and i got to see it get built up piece by piece little bit by little bit and now i mean like it takes you weeks just to learn everything that's in the game let alone how to do it yeah and yeah. i think the we're going to see the same kind of evolution from bb you know we already have well yeah i was just about to say to be honest i i, I already think things are a little complicated but it's not like they can't simplify things but um all right i'm gonna kill this shark too let's get it but at the same time they do also understand the the the, the purpose of simplicity right like that's the whole idea of releasing the vv verse in stages and yep making sure there's enough people inside and stuff like that right so uh where is it Oh, is this thing still chasing us? Is that why that music's still playing? Yeah, should be circling us. It might have left though. Sometimes they do that. I don't see it anywhere. All right, well. Ah, it's gone. We got lots of treasure though. Jubbly, jubbly. Wait till you see this vault, man. Loads of loot. Oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot to tell you as well. When you get to uh, level 5 on your emissary, 
Oh, you can... You can go and claim uh, an Emissary Voyage. And it'll give you five maps with five chests on each island, and each one of them is a captain's chest. So, really good money maker. Noted, noted. Good uh, to know. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Ooh. Who doesn't like shiny stuff? Hey, 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 mermaid gems. I know you said you're not too much into comics. I gotta hop on that platform, dude, because I've been so overwhelmed by the amount of comics that they drop that I, I need to create like a wish list. Actually, this is probably a good live stream to do that on. And I saw what some of them are going for. I was like, what are you talking about? That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's the NFT people, man. The comic people are not going to pay that, I don't think. I didn't well, even touch it, honestly. Well, there's, yeah, there's been discussion already around, like, how a lot of these prices are, are way... Or a lot of these comics are overpriced. A lot of people oh, are just way buying them. Way overpriced. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people are just buying them because of the scarcity, but... Let me know, guys, in the chat if you uh, yeah. if you want me to do that on stream. I can take a section where we can go over to uh, to VV Comics and if you guys want to talk a little bit about comics, educate me on them because uh, that's not my side of things. But I need your guys' help to build a wish list because I really don't know what to get. I really don't know. I don't want to go crazy on the new stuff, but I do want to get some of the some of the cover art because I do think that this is the best cover art they've dropped so far. For sure. Well, honestly, man, like, once we've got the Babyverse, then I'll probably become interested in comics. Um, because some of the covers on those are amazing, man. That, uh, I love the cover for the, um, I don't remember which, what is it, Tales of Suspense, I think, the FA Iron Man. I love the cover on that comic. Oh, dude, you just got... Yeah, those things are kind of brutal. I got them. I just got a cursed cannonball. Let's go. All right, so we're here for the piece of the map, aren't we? Yes, sir. What is that, dude? The amount of random pigs in this game really make no sense. Get away, get away, get away, get away! I got no health. Alright, we're nearly at level 5 actually. Oh, we got a shark here as well. Look at that. I can't remember if you said, uh, did you watch Metaverse Life's video? Showing the uh, Unreal, Unreal Engine? With the collectibles? Oh yeah, I did, man. Like, that, that looked incredible. Dude, I can't wait to get in there. I really hope oh, more same. invites come soon because, I mean, even playing what we're playing right now is getting me so hyped because, I mean, I come from the gaming side, right? And uh, one of my biggest, look, one of my biggest uh, regrets is not filming the content that I was making when I was, like, younger with gaming, Halo and Minecraft and all that. And I, I realized, I'm like, you know what, Vivi is giving me this full circle opportunity now where, you know, I can focus on, you know, VV and what I'm passionate about, but still also be able to provide gaming content now inside the VVverse, which is going to be awesome. So. Exactly, and it's an entirely, it's not just a new game, it's an entirely new kind of of uh, well, game if you like, but not really. I mean, you see uh, people who stream games on Twitch and stuff like that. Once metaverses start coming out uh, like the VVverse or others, I don't know if you've had a look at Helix. Have you seen Helix? Uh, uh, I'm gonna say no. I, it does. It does sound familiar, but yeah, I, I, I can't picture anything. That looks impressive, man. That's kind of what I'm, kind of thing I'm hoping for when they eventually do VB City and stuff like that. I don't think it will be, but it's kind of like a little bit like GTA Online, but it's an actual metaverse. Everything in it is an NFT. Uh, you get your own apartment in a city. Man, I'll send you the the video for it. It's incredible. It's been around for quite a while, and I haven't been keeping up with the progress, but um. 
That's something that you will dig for sure. I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to check it out. Send it to me. We got Kryptoni in the chat. What's going on, man? I bought three Spider Boy hey, number hey, ones. Brother. One was an ultra rare mint 14. Put it in auction starting at 1250. My next purchase is decent mint ultra rare Boba Fett. Man, ultra rare Boba Fett is. Oh, that's another topic right there. That that piece is so disrespected on this platform. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah. I think it's just because everything's so cheap at the moment, so everybody's just mostly going for scarce stuff. Not even well, that. I mean, can. I mean, it, it, a lot of stuff is cheap on the platform, but Boba Fett was cheap even way back when. Like, I, I really don't remember. That's well, true. Yeah, he got disrespected rough in the beginning. He he did. he he did drop. I think when the market was starting to dip, but. Even even then, I think the highest because I got the ultra rare and drop. I think the highest was like, oh, it, it was like double the retail price, D double or triple. Is that all? Yeah, double or triple. It was something. How many like editions that. are there of that though? Those those was like six thousand something like that for an ultra rare. Uh, Might be wrong. I haven't checked in a long time. Yeah, I don't think it's that much, but I don't think you're far off either. I've been stacking those uh, ultra rare Doc Ox. Is that the red one? Uh, what you need? Yeah, the red metallic one because uh, we know that there's going to be a set of those red metallics at some point, right? And I'm just hoping, I might be wrong, but I'm hoping that they next time they release uh, another red metallic, they do it with the same mint numbers. Because um, with that red Doc Ock, they've already burned like a thousand of them. So if they release one with the same mint numbers, then there's a thousand less of that red Doc Ock. That's the chase. Are you talking like matching like the, the Disney logo in the lamp? Uh, we've got a ship. We have a Reaper's Sloop coming straight for us. Where? Oh. And they're level five Reapers. They want to come and kill us. Yeah, Kryptoni says he has a small stack of the uh, Dr. Ox as well. I think it's a... I mean, it's a big speculation move. But, um... I think that uh, if 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 I'm right about it, it will pay off. Um, yeah, I'm going to need you to help me out here for a second, dude. We're... Give me a sec. Let me die and respawn. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, it's actually kind of interesting how, uh, I never really thought about that, actually. Right, uh, we need to catch the wind with the sails, dude. Oh. Uh, should we open the crew? Get a third person in here for the fight? No, 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 keep it where that is. No, 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 we want to catch the wind. Oh, I see you're turning. Yeah, can you do the front one? Where is the... oh, here. What's this guy up to? Is he fighting that skeleton ship? What's he doing? I see, okay. He's trying to cut us off, I think. I'm gonna heal up first. But yeah, no, I never thought about the uh, the red pieces. I forgot about those. Because yeah, that's a whole series that they introduce and there's only one of them. Yep. And uh, like nearly a thousand of them have been burned. That's another thing too, man, is I really hope that they start burning pieces sooner. Because I know that they announce that they're going to burn select pieces, but I always feel like they announce it and way too much time goes by before uh, it happens. Well, I mean, look at those um, Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickeys, right? It was said right in the article when they advertised the drop that, uh, uh, you know, you had the, the redeem code to, to get those. And uh, they said that any weren't redeemed any of the redeem codes that weren't redeemed would be burned and uh yeah uh who was it? omi daily burn uh calculated that about 22 percent of each of those rarities should have been burned and that was like a year and a half ago they still haven't been burned i'm still curious why not it's still on the bb wallet apparently interesting what's going on jimbo appreciate it congratulations masters i'm minting five stormtroopers and buying five in the aftermarket if it dumps to my screen is blocked. I can't see that. Six dollars. I'll 
start my stack. Is that, I think that's what it says. Yeah, what's your opinion on these stormtroopers? Whoa, dude? what the hell was that? Yeah, whoa. Oh, Wait, you just hit a barrel? Yeah, I think that was a barrel. What's your, um... Yeah, it was a barrel. What's your opinion on these stormtroopers? Do you think they're going to go above or, or below retail? I think they're going above. Yeah. Here, I'll repair. You steer. But, I mean, even if they don't go above straight away, they're going above eventually. Like, think about it. We're, if Even if we only have 3,000 people on BB, I think we've probably got more than that. But even if we're only 3,000... Okay, not everybody's going to collect them, but the people who collect them are going to want a lot. But with 3,000 people, that's enough for five each. Yeah. Now, if we're going to build this platform, there's going to be more and more people. Well, I mean, eventually, those numbers are not going to work out to too many for a lot of people. We're going to my collectibles. Safe bet. We're going to my collectibles buying up all these stormtroopers like it was the AF-15s. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think maybe they were just going to Reaper's Hideout to sell their stuff. Yep, I was right. Okay, so. They may come after us after that, but what we want to do is just pick up one more piece of loot so we hit level five, and then we'll go sell. Alrighty. So we'll just go. What's uh, what's everybody's opinion on the uh, stormtroopers? You guys think the addition size is healthy, or you guys wanted it to be bigger? I'm I'm actually, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised by the community's reaction on the uh, the ten thousand addition size because. I know there was a lot of discussions leading up to that, and a lot of people wanted like a hundred thousand and five hundred thousand and um, and and things like that. So there was a lot of people who were very happy with the 10k supply, and I thought they were uh, maybe a little upset that it wasn't bigger. But I'm happy with it. Yeah, I think it's good. It's going to be the first drop that I'm going for. I mean, while, it doesn't mean they sure. can't do second editions. You know, I mean, this, uh, I think uh, every Stormtrooper was different from every movie, right? So, I mean, maybe they do ones from A New Hope. Oh, dude, there's, uh, there's, with... there's so many different variations of those things. Exactly. So, I mean, they do the other ones with uh, larger editions, maybe. I'm quite happy with this one, though. Uh, what do we want to go? We want to go to Gullion's Grave. So, we want to go east. Kryptoni says it's a perfect drop to me. It's going to do better than uh, people think, in his opinion. Price point is perfect also. Yeah, I think the price point is is on point. Ten bucks is perfect. Um, for sure. I, th I think the 10k supply is just where it is because, I guess, the current user base and everything. And I know a lot of people were saying the higher numbers when the market was a was a little little healthier. By the way, guys, when 15K, I say... 15k, isn't it? Was it 15? I thought it was 10. Oh, maybe oh, it I is. I think it's 15k. Maybe. Now yeah, imagine hitting one of those 500 secret rares. <laughs> and by the way, guys, when I say market... <clears throat> Jeez, my throat. When I say uh, market, I'm talking about VV market. Because I know the overall market has uh, kind of taken a turn, but... Actually, I'm dumb for saying that. The BV market is taking a turn, too. There's pieces selling for tens of thousands. What am I saying? Yeah, it's 15k. <clears throat> yeah, not a lot of my pieces have been... Uh changing in price much but I don't go for a lot of the hype pieces you know I mostly uh, get the indie artist sort of stuff I do have a bunch of IP stuff as well like for flipping and some you know IPs that I really enjoy like uh, I'm just I've just completed the labyrinth set first Jim Henson I love Jim oh, Henson nice. man. yeah okay so but, let me uh, ask a lot of the stuff I collect on there is art let me ask you this because I know you're you're a massive Tokidoki fan um, what kind of pieces do you want from Tokidoki to drop that haven't, haven't dropped yet? 
They've got a line of uh, collectibles called, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're little punk rock characters. And they're really cool, man. I'd like to see those. I think I know what you're talking about. That's like their most popular. And to be honest, man, I'm only a Toki Doki fan now because of Vivi. Oh, you didn't know about them before? They're most popular? No, no, no. But um, I did join a couple of uh, Toki Doki groups in uh, Facebook. And honestly, like the most popular ones are the Mermaid Corners and the Unicorners. Those are the ones that people are buying, selling, trading the most, for sure. The ones that people are looking for. But they do also have like some other little characters, like uh, this little cow, uh, like little milk cart and stuff. I don't know, they've got a bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. The little right. punk rockers are cool. Yeah. Cryptony, man, I appreciate the support. You're absolutely smashing it in the chat. Um, he says, another key book's dropping on Candy slash DC on Wednesday. First appearance of Teen Titans. You ever watch that? Oh, Teen Titans? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> I love Teen Titans. Man, my uh, my only experience with Teen Titans was I think there was a show that used to play on. Oh God, was it was it Nickelodeon? I think it would have been Nickelodeon, right? Or Cartoon Network. One of the two. Yeah, um, maybe I can't remember. But I used to watch it every single. Yeah, that's morning what I like, man. Before school, the original Teen Titans, and then they did a uh, a second season called a uh, second series, sorry, called Teen Titans Go. And it was kind of more of a like goofy kind of style and it was even funnier man both shows are amazing i want cause yeah cause is uh cause is another artist it's never actually been confirmed by vivi but uh i think the community has a pretty good idea that that's that's going to be an ip that'll likely come in well, the future i feel like david's had some cause figures in the background in quite a lot of his uh videos well, yeah, he sells cause in his retail shop. It's a big, uh, big piece of his. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh, I got no ammo. Yeah, I don't have any particular artist I'd like to see, honestly. But, um, uh, it's like, I'm getting into a lot of the art on Vivi, but I'm discovering them because of Vivi. Like, I didn't know Tara McPherson before, and um. Uh, through Vivi, I discovered her art, which I really like, but also discovered that she did a lot of like uh, album art and poster art and stuff for a lot of bands that I'm really into. A lot oh, of really? really big names too, like Blink-182. She did some stuff for Eminem, The Melvins. Eminem? No More, Pearl Jam. Yeah, man. Oh, wow. Where's the ammo crate? Oh, here. And uh, so I got to discover all that stuff as well. I oh, mean, Vivi's cool. There's one artist that I really want to see on VV. Uh, his name is Brian Morris. Do you know him? Okay. No. No. This guy, you got to look him up. It's uh, God. His art, I I've never seen anything like it. But it, he he and it's all hand drawn, um, digital art on like I think it's an iPad he does it on. But uh, all of his pieces look like glass. Like um, it's like a I don't even know how to describe it. Uh. Okay. Like he 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 did one of uh, what's her name, the Mona Lisa, and he turned her into like a glass figure. But like you could see through the glass and see like all of her like organs and like body like insides, right? Um, not like a Matt Gondek deconstructive. More, I don't even want to say. Oh, I think I know what you mean. All right. Yeah. 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 I yeah. see what you're getting at. Okay. Yeah, you gotta check him out. He's he's really cool. I found him out through uh, Brock McBlockchain, but he's a uh, he's friends with some people in the community, and he's uh, he's aware of Vivi. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Bro, well, all we gotta do actually is just pick up, find a piece of loot, and pick it up, and we'll be level five, and we can go sell. Oh, here's a good question. Could I get another wall yep. or four Tods? I'm not gonna give you. I'm, I'm not gonna give you financial advice or anything, man. But here's what I would. Here's here's my opinion on the whole like quantity. Well, I mean both are quality, but um, with the four tides, you just have more opportunities to liquidate. So it just really depends on what your goals are at the end of the day, right? But if you pick up one partner statue, I mean you might have more than one partner statue. But if you pick up one partner statue, right, then you uh, you have the one to sell versus. Three more opportunities to sell if you uh, you pick up the four Todds. So, 
Really depends on what you're looking to do. Different people have different goals. We got a little Western standoff over here. If I take one more shot, I'm gonna die. I'm just trying to find like just one little piece of random loot just to pick it up. That's all we need. What's that? I'm gonna stay on the ship for now. Yeah, nothing. Man, our ship is busted on the side. <laughs> Are we taking in water? No. Oh, it shouldn't be. For anyone who's just tuning in, the ship is called the VV app. <laughs> oh, we got something uh, shining on the island here. Uh, could just be an ammo pouch. No, it looks like a skull. Oh man, come on, not no. one piece of loot. I got a skull. A skull? Yeah, yeah, it's not going to help us. We need gold hoarder loot. Nah. Oh, found a crate of cannonballs. Alright, well, the crew just have to find something else. Alright, well, here's some other questions for you, because I haven't got your opinion on this yet. It happened a couple weeks ago now, but what's... Uh... What's your thoughts on all this music and sports dropping on Vivi now? Uh, well, obviously, uh, very positive. I think um, a lot of people were kind of disappointed with what was the first music drop. Like, the, you know, it's not a real artist or whatever, you know, like a pop artist or whatever. But um, just the fact that it's happening is really, really cool. And not only that, you know, I kind of like the music. Yeah, I thought it was kind of funky. Like weird stuff, man. I had no idea that Ron made music. I'll say but, uh, that. Yeah, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see what's what's going to happen next. And uh, what I was thinking about is, I think you know, maybe that um, team Parker set. Is that somebody shooting at us? No, that's me shooting the shark that just killed you. But I'm going to take off now because you're just going to spawn back on here, right? Yeah. Um, the fact that VV sponsored that team Parker. Uh, fight. I think that that, you know, I mean, maybe completing the set could be worth it. It'd be cool to see what else they sponsor. I think somebody, who was it? Maybe the Superstars or somebody uh, brought up the idea that they might start sponsoring car racing because, you know, Dan's really into that. Yeah, they've sponsored a, uh, a Crash of Derby. They That's sponsored a, uh, another, I think it was like a small racing event or whatever. Um, but yeah, there's been a couple talks okay. in like Web V spaces. I was talking with, uh, I think it was Mr. MC1 about F1. F1 would be like huge for VV, I think. Um, just access to more like big IP and brands. Cause I mean, obviously there's like big, big names involved in the sponsorship world on that side of things. But I oh, uh, yeah. I think when it comes to boxing, man, I, I had no idea who um, Joseph Parker was, but when I was doing more research, I kind of felt bad for not knowing who he was because, I mean, this guy's fought Deontay Wilder and, and beat him. I mean, yeah, yeah. Wilder's a hell of a fighter, so that should tell you enough about Parker, right? So, um, but about yeah. the drop, though, one thing I will say, I think it was a missed opportunity, uh, the photo that we got in the, in the poster of him. Why wasn't it a picture of him wearing his VV shorts? Why not? Exactly. I don't understand that. So, okay, so <laughs> that's a really good topic. Um, yeah, I, I think that that poster they dropped, and I thought about this after I posted my video on it. It's like, damn, that would have been a good point. Um, yeah, that po I completely agree. That poster should have been a photo of him after he won the fight with his hands up or whatever in the ring. Yeah, and then they should these VV shorts, man, that big ass logo on the front. Yeah, and then they turn that into an NFT. That would have been that would have been I would have been yeah. interested in that more than anything else in the set. And they look clean too, man. Those gloves, they look good. The detail on those is really nice. The gloves. I want a little bit more clarity on that signature though, because I, I want to I wanna know if it's just like an aesthetic thing or is, it, is there like an actual, there's some well, sort I of- Well, I wouldn't think it counts as an actual digital signature or anything like that. 
Although that is something that they talked about uh, working on in the future, being able to actually get them digitally signed. I'm not quite sure how that works. It's what David said he wanted to do. I think he had also mentioned in that same talk that the tech hadn't caught up yet, but the Disney patents had yeah. something similar. They were talking about how uh, you can cryptographically sign somebody's like signature on the blockchain. So I don't know. You know how I found out about uh, um, Vivi Meister? Uh, the first time I ever heard of him was uh, a video he put up of him at um, like Comic-Con or somewhere. And he went up to Christopher Lloyd and uh, got him to sign his uh, iPad with his DeLorean. Like he brought up the, uh, he did something like uh, that. Yes, I think he, like, yes. he got it to sign it on like a uh, photo editing app or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Christopher Lloyd was there talking like, oh, am I allowed to do this and all this sort of stuff. It was quite funny. So he's got video of Christopher Lloyd signing his uh, VV collectible, which is quite cool. I don't know if that counts for much, but I mean, all you get is the image and the video of Christopher Lloyd doing it. Actually, you know what, dude? I'm gonna st uh, I'm gonna stay on the ship while you're on the island here. I'm gonna switch over to VV Comics for a sec. I just want to take a look at some of these comics. Yep, no worries. If you guys have any suggestions for which uh, comics I should add to my wish list, let me know in the in, in the, the chat because. Um, it's so weird saying chat and not description. <laughs> um. Oh, one piece of loot, that's all. We should be over on BB Comics now. Let me know if there's any issues, guys. And also, let me know, guys, if the, uh, the audio is well as well. Well as well. Jeez. Um... It took me a good week to try and figure this one out, so <laughs> hopefully it's uh, it's all good. But all right, so new this week we got Web Spider Man number one. Uh, we got Spider Boy, Night Thrasher, Vengeance and Night Moon or, or Moon Knight, Captain Marvel. We got Blade, Scarlet Witch, and Quicksilver, Black Panther. Invincible Iron Man and Fantastic Four. I really like this feature too, how you can purchase all 10, but I hope that they, uh, I think that's just for the standard comics. So I hope they, uh, allow you to buy, uh, them as NFT versions. Hurry, only one out of a thousand left. For Web of Spider-Man number one. Of what, I, the secret rare? Yeah, I, although yeah, here's the thing, man. I don't know if I ever buy that stuff. It could very well be one out of a out, out of a thousand left, but there are also a lot of uh, little marketing tactics on websites nowadays where uh, it's just uh, trying. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fear of loss. This Moon Knight one looks really really cool though. What are your thoughts on Moon Knight, man? Because that's another piece that a lot of people have been stacking a lot of. I've seen like armies of Moon Knight as well. Oh yeah? I haven't yeah. noticed that. I don't know, I think it's a really clean looking collectible. I don't know much about the, the character itself, but um, I think it's a cool collectible. I believe he's the first uh, ever... I'm not quite sure of the edition sizes. So. Uh, no, they were high. It's like five figures, 12,000, 11,000 or something like that. It was that. during that period. Like I've, I've got a couple of the Thors and there's just so many of them. I'm, I know I'm going to have to wait years before they're actually worth anything. Which is fine, I mean, I'm, you know, whatever, I'm still getting MCP points for holding them. I just, I, I really hope that my biggest deterrence right now of using this platform is I, I just can't see the cover art. And it's really annoying. I don't know if I'm missing something, or something's going over my head here. Um, on maybe... the new comic cup? Yeah, on the new comic app, they don't show the, the different cover arts. They just show the original cover. So I don't know if that's just how like comic platforms typically like operate. I don't know, but. I thought that there was a bit where like if you click on upgrade, it'll show you the uh, the different covers you've got a chance of getting. Isn't that how it works? Oh, really? Am I an idiot here? Oh, 
Oh my god, dude. Oh, no, I saw it on a couple of videos. Oh my there. god. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Oh my god. <laughs> you're right. I'm an idiot. Wow. Okay, that's the second point. Just to clarify to you guys, I said in the video about VV Comics that there was no panel to panel reading, or I couldn't figure it out. There is. There is, so I was wrong about that as well. Um, apparently, it's only for the uh, the new comics, though. So, which explains why, because I haven't got any of these new comics yet. So I was trying it on the uh, the older comics. Um, uh... Wow, I feel like an idiot for not knowing that. Well, I only know, I haven't even been on the app. I just saw a couple of people going through it in their videos. What is going on, Big Oz? Just came home from work. Congrats on the first live stream. Thanks, man. You're a name that I see a lot on the channel, so I appreciate your support. I know we've chatted uh, several times at this point, so glad to see you here, man. Appreciate it. Okay, well, you know what? That makes me way more excited to look at this platform right now because now I can see all the cover art. <laughs> Excuse me. Not a single piece of loot on this island. Very nice. The like, what I've also noticed too with this new platform. I don't know if you've realized it, but there's a lot more like different um, styles of art that were released. So there's like the negative space art. Uh, there's the covers that show only the faces of the characters. Um, hey, that's cool. Spider Boy, I think this is the one that Kryptoni was talking about here. Oh no, he said Spider Boy number one, not five. I saw that that was selling for like nearly two thousand dollars, or you know, thirteen hundred dollars, or something. A secret rare for that. Yeah, I, I believe it. Oh, this is definitely a marketing thing. Only one out of a thousand left. It's not going to maintain that price, I don't think. There's no way. There's no way. I wish I'd got on board, but I don't regret my decision not to. <laughs> I think it's just going to be a complete repeat of what's already happened on the platform. I think it's going to be where when we had less pieces, prices were higher. It's going to be the same right now where with this platform, there's less comics available. Everybody's buying into the whole scarcity thing. Um, and then as yep. soon as they start flooding it more uh, with more comics, then people are going to start kind of, I don't know if cluing in is the right word. I don't want to insult anyone, but um, I think, uh, yeah, it's what you said. Prices are going to, I think, drop and things are going to sell. Or at the end of the day, we could be wrong because, I mean, in the print world, 1,000 is basically unicorn scarcity anyway, new or old comic. Uh, so, you know, maybe we'll be completely wrong and... Uh, just based on the scarcity alone, they will, you know, go way up in value. Who knows? Very true. I'm looking for it. Uh, you should stop by this, uh, the Wed V space this weekend because there's lots to talk about, but I'm curious to see what um, Osman Collects is going to be saying because this guy's been, uh, he's been collecting ultra rare co comics for the longest time. He's like the biggest fan of Peach Momoko and then there was only like, I think a few covers of Peach Momoko on uh, the platform for the longest time. And now they just dropped, I don't know, a dozen plus covers from her. So <laughs> I feel like uh, there's a lot of people yeah. overwhelmed. But. I mean, at the end of the day, she's done the art. So it's out there and it's going to drop eventually anyway. So I don't, I don't know, Dad didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like a second issue of the same comic or anything like that, was it? Oh, dude, speaking of that, thank you. Uh, they did do exactly that. Yeah. They dropped the same comic twice. I heard twice. about that. I heard about that. I don't know how that's all going to work. See, this is why I got out of comics ages ago. I used to have a big collection of comics. And then I just started to ask myself questions about it, thinking, man, I'm not. I'm really not sure that this is going to go the way that I wanted to. And even though I don't understand comics very well, I was kind of tired of investing based on what other people said. Right. So I decided to just get out of the comics and go into collectibles. No, I missed oh, it. What's this? Oh, is this the? Oh no, this is the place where you got to bring the skull. 
We got a chest Maybe to get not. up there. We missed it. Why are we getting that music? No idea. Oh, I think it's just because somebody's uh, unlocked the skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can oh. see the uh, the helix over there. No, I just unlocked it. Skull of Siren Song claimed. Yeah. That's because we're part of that voyage. Somebody's claimed the skull, and that's why we're getting all that music and everything. What on Saying earth? Saying that it's time to go get them. But we're not interested in that. What's happening over here with this red lightning and blue and green in the sky? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the Skull of Siren song. Oh, my bad. Somebody has uh, found the key and the chest and they've opened it and they've got the skull. And so now that's showing you where they're going to be taking it to if you want to go fight them for it. Yeah, my bad. I thought you were pointing elsewhere. Oh, yeah, no. And there it is. Let's go sell, finally. Jesus, just that. Emissary grade 5 reached. Thank you. But yeah, we needed this... to get to grade five because if uh, sorry, no, no, go ahead. I was just going to say we need to get to grade five because uh, otherwise we can't get the uh, emissary voyage. Uh, what were you going to say? Um, I was just going to say with regards to this comic that got released twice. I think it was it was an amazing amazing Spider Man. I think it was one thirty four or one thirty seven or something like that, and. Um, they released it with different covers, though, so I don't know if it was intentional or, or what, but I know it rubbed uh, a lot of people the wrong way, so. All right, so it's the same comic, but with different covers. From my understanding, yeah. I don't know if anyone wants to com confirm that in the chat, but. All right, yeah. where are we going now just to Either cash way, this in? can't be cool. Yeah, we're going to sell. And then... Uh, we'll go do the uh, we'll finish the vault voyage it's just always good if you can get the uh, the emissary voyage go claim it that way if you sink at least you've got a voyage there that will just basically automatically get you back up to level 5 so you'll see what I mean after that we're going to do the vault that's a lot of fun man you're going to like this let's do it do you have any fun yeah Never mind, I found him. Just about to say, do you have any fireworks? I want to show the chat. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I made, a pick some, made sure to pick some up for you. Um, I'll be back in just in a moment. Yep. Yeah. But for anyone just tuning in, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the first live stream, guys. Kind of just learning as we go here. Lots of trial and error. But uh, me and uh, Duck and Cover, we're uh, kind of just sailing from island to island collecting, as you can see, a bunch of treasure. While we're uh, talking to Vivi. So. We're repping the squad, that's for sure. But the intention, guys, with these live streams is, um, you know, eventually to obviously uh, have Vivi verse content. But, uh... In the meantime, I know invites have been a little slow. Um, I don't want to complain here, but my patience has been running a little thin, so I didn't want to kind of wait anymore. So I thought we just kind of stream a variety of different games that uh, kind of have a collecting focus to them. So this one is Treasure, as you can see, but, um, you know, Vivi might drop a Lamborghini. And then, uh, you know, we'll hop into a game where we can drive some Lamborghinis around with uh, some Vivi license plates and, you know, talk about the drop and what's happening in the in the in the vv space at the time so um like i said experimenting as we go but any feedback's appreciated and uh if you guys enjoy make sure to hit the thumbs up so and i hope whenever they release uh sea of thieves 2 i know this game's got another four years life in it uh when they release sea of thieves 2 in like 2035 or whatever all these cosmetics will be nfts yeah, I, re I really hope. Oh, I really hope, man, because a lot of gaming studios don't seem to be too, I guess, fond of NFTs. Um, but then you also have like a big, big studio like Rockstar Games right now, who, from my understanding, is implementing. I don't know if it's NFTs actually, but I know that they're implementing crypto into uh, GTA 6. And GTA 6 is 
I mean, when that thing drops, that game drops, it's going to be the talk of the town and every, like, everyone's eyes are going to be on it. So, I mean, that, that alone yeah, can... Yeah, but they got a very, they got a lot of very negative feedback from their player base about that, though. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, and, and I feel like that's expected. But they, they also have a lot of questionable things they've said. Like, they're uh, one of their directors. I don't know what specific or, like, what his title was, but... Um, he was talking at a point about charging per hour playing the game and people were like what on what? earth are you talking about <laughs> so yeah try that son that's the best way to kill your franchise well yeah, done no kidding but um no i i think crypto is it's it's already set in stone in that game and it's going to be interesting how they implement it but i think it's absolutely made for it anyway these guys just don't understand like i don't get the attitude why when you're going to spend all that money on in-game assets anyway wouldn't you want to own it be able to pass it on transfer it sell it well yeah yeah why would you want to just leave it and as something that you you threw your money at and then you know one day the servers closed down and it's all gone yeah i man i, I really don't get that attitude yeah and chad just for some context too because duck and i were talking about this earlier as as gamers as i and anybody in the chat who has gaming experience like it's kind of easier to understand how like you know the sword that i'm carrying right now or the gun that i'm carrying can be an nft and like i can actually own it but the thing is that like the 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 gaming studio behind this game right rare studios or, or whatever they're called at the end of the day yep, they can just rare, rare. they can just take my account away so all the progress that i'm working towards right now with duck it can just be stripped from me so and, and that's like with any game right now so i know we were just talking about gta gta is the perfect example of how to implement nfts in a game like or or what game should implement nfts because i mean you have properties that you can buy you have cars you can customize the properties and cars you have different jobs and roles and i mean there's there's everything in that game so um, yeah i've spent a lot of real money in this game man a lot of the cosmetics that i've got are not from doing commendations i paid for them and uh, that's it. That's burn money. Yeah. So I mean, I really don't get the the backlash from uh, GTA players. It's a huge boon for us. That's another thing too about these gaming streams that I think is going to be helpful for some people is for the people who aren't gaming people. I'm hoping that we're kind of playing games that aren't like too like bloody and you know stuff like that. Um, that you know everyone can kind of relate to in a sense. Not relate to, but enjoy. Um, and then in the process, it kind of gives you a better idea of like where this stuff is all going, because it it does relate to Vivi in a sense, even though we are playing a game where you collect treasure. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's not the treasure you collect in this game, man. It's the ship sets, it's the yeah, clothes, yeah. it's the eye patches. Right. This is a collecting game. The way I you collect on here the same way you do as uh, on Vivi. It's just that you don't own any of it. Right. And there is a lot of stuff on here that's super limited edition and stuff like that. And if I could sell my account, I've got some stuff, like I was saying to you the other day, that I'd get thousands for if they were NFTs. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have people that do the, uh, they build the, uh, the accounts on Clash Royale, Clash of Clans. Or like even back in the day, I say back in the day, but um, uh, what's it called? Candy, Candy Crush? Um, mm-hmm those games people would build accounts like to high levels and then just flip the accounts for thousands of dollars right so oh man i'm telling you i i, I wanted to sell my account for a while but then i realized that in fact uh, because this is a microsoft uh game uh i think it's like i don't know if rare is owned by microsoft or whatever but uh, it's linked to my microsoft account which has all my emails and all of my stuff for the last 10 years i really wish i'd started a new microsoft account before I uh, bought this game, because then I could just sell the account. Yeah. Yeah, that would be ideal. What is going on, Dutch homie? Appreciate you stopping by, man. Can't wait for Lambo Utility and the VVverse and other games slash worlds. Absolutely. I think racing is going to be huge too, man. I think uh, a, a racetrack is something so simple that you can create with just like standard shapes, right? So um, there's going to be some very creative racetracks built in the VVverse. And... I wouldn't be surprised if that's like one of the main kind of, not main, but one of the bigger kind of game types that kind of grows at first. I witnessed that actually back in Halo when uh, Forge got released. Um, hey, speaking of Halo, I'll show you that Halo ship set. Oh yeah, do it. Um, but when Forge mode got released in that game, 
there was obviously there was limitations to what you can build right and over time there was more features and stuff like that that got released and when they first released forge mode um there was the just the basic base builds and then there was racing like people would create like the the windy race maps or the the tracks that would go under waterfalls or stuff like that so what I'm really looking forward to when it comes to racing is how people implement the collectibles in the racetracks. So something like a Tarzan, for example, I was just talking about a waterfall, right? So Tarzan's waterfall, you scale them up, you can put a full track underneath the waterfall, right? So people can get really creative with that stuff. Um, and I mean, we're not even talking about all the other features that you can build yourself, right? From simple shapes to changing the color of the clouds. So sorry, I should be doing something on screen right now. I'm not um i don't know man you're good we're good we're good but yeah dutch i completely agree this delusionville that ron's building sounds very interesting as well what do you think about that i'm excited for it yeah because uh you know he's he's a big deal in the art world and he's very creative and i like what he does even if everybody doesn't i actually like i don't listen to that uh rabbit cd just because it's frank kozik and it's on vivi i really actually like it <laughs> right. and um you know with the art that he does and the kind of politically messages that he does i don't have like the mogul grin and all that sort of stuff I'm not a huge fan of that but um propaganda like some of the satire in uh, in some of the art that's in that propaganda comic is right up my alley very punk rock, very sort of like Dead Kennedys. Actually, speaking of that, I gotta pick that up. I wanted that oh, man. It's cheap right now, man. I think it's selling for like, I don't know, 16, 17 bucks. The Ultra Rare. Only yeah. 666 editions of it. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that actually, I think, today. You reminded me, I've been waiting, or not waiting, but I uh, remember going for it on drop. I didn't get it, and then I just never picked it up in the market. Because I typically don't grab stuff for uh, several days, and I just forgot about it. Oh, there's just so much stuff that you can buy <laughs> right now that it's, uh, it's a bit of a jungle. What are you uh, What are you doing right now? Are you just grabbing quests? Uh, no, I'm going to show you that um, Halo set. Oh, right. Uh, just put the anchor down. Oh, sorry, you'll have to come back and change the shit back when you're done, but uh, I just wanted to show no, it to you're you. No, you're good, you're good. Um, where is it? We got another ship, eh, with the uh, skull, or whatever it's called. Where you can see them with the blue light in the sky. Oh, yeah? They're far yeah, away. They must though. be on their way to take it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, they're not close to us. We're, we're good. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, uh, uh. All aboard. All right, what else do I have on my talking points here? Because, guys, I came prepared, all right? I'm not just saying random stuff here. Well, kind of, I am, but... I am. Uh, where are we? Where is it? Where is it there? Vestige of Power Sold. I'll come over here actually and vote the flag down so that we're not a target. Welcome, welcome, welcome to anybody joining now. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. It's our first stream, so we're uh, kind of just figuring things out as we go, but. Oops, sorry. Vote. Boom. Damn it. I suck at lunging in this game. <laughs> eh, it's all practice. And we are off. Oh, so that's the that that's that halo set. 
Yo, we got Doctor Strange in the house. What is going on, man? Appreciate you tuning in. Dude, we should get docked on some streams. Play his music in the background. Can't get copyrighted for that, right? <laughs> Gotta limit all my uh, music when I'm playing games here. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Something I've never had to think about before. <laughs> yeah, that must be a real pain in the ass for you YouTubers, though. Oh, dude. And you know what's a little annoying, too? Is um, all those animations that I made for my videos. Yeah. What? Sorry, what were you saying? I was just say, uh, check out the figurehead. But yeah, the animations you made for oh. your for your videos. Yeah, so I put them all together, right? And little do I know, half the animations I made, uh, the soundtracks for the animations got copyrighted, even though the the I, I got the Seriously? license. Seriously? Yeah, even though I got the license for the soundtracks, so I can't even use half the stuff that I put together. But um, I'll, I'll use like one of them every once in a oh, while. Like if you use the Pink Panther. If you if you did something with the Pink Panther, you'd get copyrighted for that. Uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty the much. The music you on there. Yeah. But yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't the right to be able to use that NFT in that sense come with the purchase of the NFT? I would have thought. Uh, well, well, maybe. But if I was to take that NFT, make a video on it, and post it to YouTube, I'm gonna get copyrighted. Hmm. That's just it. Yeah, you, I wouldn't have thought you would. I would have thought that by buying that NFT, you have the right to use that. Maybe in the yeah, future, in but the, the 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 different platforms don't have that communication yet. And yeah, I mean, YouTube. Has oh, it's like a, it's 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 automatic that it copyrights it. Yeah, it's just like an it's algorithm. A, it's just yeah. an algorithm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah, oh we got S we got Sven in the house as well, <laughs> man. What's going on? Sven, dude, you're one of my favorite people in this community. I gotta say it. I gotta say it. Uh, do you know who Sven is? Gotta go. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, uh, dude, Sven is. All you need to know is him by his name, Sven. That's all. But he uh, he was at Crypto XR. <laughs> Sven is Sven. Dude, he's the man. He was at a Crypto XR. I kept seeing photos and videos of this guy dancing his ass off. Oh, I might have met him. Very well, yeah, maybe. No, he's an um, awesome, awesome guy. Do you want to go put your uh, your cosmetics back on? No, 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 we're good. Let's sail. We'll give the the viewers something else to look at here. Oh yeah, no, but not on this ship. So I mean, go choose something else, man, but not this one. Do you guys think we will see more hype around digital collectibles in twenty twenty four? I think I, I think as time goes on, I think I think it's only a matter of time before more people kind of get involved. As time goes on, though, too. Um, how do I put it? I, I I've I've mentioned how it's kind of like a generational thing, right? So, um, people who are a little bit younger, who are kind of growing up with the Roblox and the Minecrafts and stuff like that, who are, you know, now becoming young adults, making some money they're going to understand this whole digital collectible and NFT stuff a lot easier than somebody who's, you know, 60, 70 and never involved on the social media or the gaming side, right? So um, as time goes on, it's going to become a generational thing, I think, where the younger people are going to, they're going to be primarily responsible for, you know, a, major, a majority of the, uh, of the adoption. Um, we're still going to have, you know, people who are older involved. Um, but I, I think it's just as, yeah, it's, it's, it's a time it's a time game um there was another did you see the um there was a video that came out i can't remember the guy's name he's a physical comic uh youtuber and he put out a video about the the release of this new vv app and this is for the first time I've actually seen one of these channels speak relatively positively about uh, Vivi and uh, what they're doing. And uh, yeah, it really kind of gave me the impression that it might be starting to turn a little bit with some people. Yeah. Yeah. This attitude, uh, this, this anti-NFT thing, you know? Yeah. And it's, ha it's like... It's happened a bunch before too, right? Like it's 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 just a it's like crypto cycles. It's just a cycle in the uh, with uh, with digital adoption because this happened back with um, the dot com boom in like ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, right? Like when websites were start were first yeah. uh, being created, it, like you had a majority of people being like, "What the hell is a website? Why do I need one?" Right? Like, 
and and the people who got involved with websites. I was there. Like, I remember, man. <laughs> exactly. I still go. remember watching uh, TV shows, and then they'd go like, uh, you know, they'd have it on the bottom of the screen. Uh, go to our our homepage at www. And I'm like, what the hell are they talking about? They're speaking gibberish. Yeah. What does yeah. www. mean? What Dude, are you talking about? It's crazy. I still deal with it today. I I deal with, like I do social media with uh, small businesses, and um, the people that I I typically deal with are construction companies. So. I mean, these guys are stuck in their old ways, right? Like these guys have been doing their thing yeah, for right. 25, 30 years. They don't want to hop on social media. They don't see a need for it. They're like, I'm getting all my business through referrals and you know, this and that, right? I mean, this is what, two decades after social media as was, was first introduced, right? So it takes time for people to, to um, kind of, you know, s switch their ways because nobody likes change, right? We witnessed this, uh, I don't know if you were around when uh, Vivi first revised the brand. People resist it. People resist it, but um, I, I think I think the I think the rate of adoption, I think how fast people are going to start accepting the digital collectible stuff, is going to be faster than so do I. Than how people first started accepting like websites and stuff like that. So, but absolutely, again, yeah, it's just timing. So. <clears throat> Ben is asking. I think uh, t uh, so whoever asked the question asked uh, about 2024. I would. I don't know if 2024 will be the year, but I don't expect we'll have to wait more than like a handful of years. You'll be able to count the amount of years on one hand, max, in my opinion, before this uh, this mass adoption really takes off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really have any specific timelines to say about that. I don't think anybody really knows, but. Um... Oh, that's assuming it takes off. You know, I mean, nah, it's going to. That's the way it's going to go. Yeah, the team. Ju the team. I mean, just I, needs you must have seen that article. Sorry to interrupt, but you must have no. seen that article already. That uh, uh, Disney is going to be uh, selling tickets to their park as NFTs now. I did not see that. When was that? Yeah, that, that came out like three weeks, four weeks ago, ish. Um, also, you know, like, I mean, I've been talking about it for years when, when I first got into Vivi, I've been telling people, look, this is how we're going to, you know, verify authenticity of everything. Like, I mean, this is stuff that all, all of us already know, but the average guy doesn't know, uh, that'll be, you know, you buy a Louis Vuitton, there'll be an NFT to prove the, the authenticity of that bag and all right, that. Right. And now I've got the proof with my London proof, uh, my, uh, London police, uh, print that I got at Crypto XR. It has the digi uh, digital certificate on the back. So I have this piece of physical art and I can easily prove it as authentic because of the NFT technology. Mm. You want to explain that to the chat a little bit for anybody who doesn't know? London Police just uh, did a little uh, gift giveaway, I guess you can say. Yeah, well, the, um, the uh, numbers and letters united piece that uh, uh, London Police dropped at, uh, at Crypto XR where you buy the physical and then you get a promo code for the NFT on Vivi. Well, the, uh, the physical of that print actually has a little digital, digital certificate in it where you can scan it and it'll sh uh, just automatically take you to the web page where the information and the metadata shows up for that piece to prove its, uh, its authenticity. Yeah, Brilliant. that's awesome. That's awesome. Sven is asking, which game is this? Uh, it's Sea of Thieves. So uh, we're pretty much just sailing from island to island right now. We're kind of uh, just collecting some treasure while we're talking Vivi. The collecting focus for today, some treasure hunting, and then uh, we actually just finished cashing in a bunch of treasure as well. So, how much money did I get for that? Oh, damn! I can buy my own. We're trying now. to uh, trying to get uh, collectors' uh, ranks up so that he can get some of the unlocks. Yes, sir. Get some of the real prizes. If you guys ever go on Fortnite, let me know. Oh, dude. Okay. Fortnite for me, oh, oh, I have no patience to play against those kids. Okay, I'm sorry. I've I, never played oh it. my god, dude! I've never played a game where kids are so cracked out of their mind. Like they, these oh, kids. Really? Oh my gosh, man! Like, and and I'm kind of. I mean, kids. Like when you're a kid, you have kind of like the best. I don't know what's the word like not reflexes but you respond the best way like the fastest uh when it comes to gaming 
right? Like you, you have like the, you're at the point where your skills can be the highest, right? Um, right. Yep. Yeah. You're a bit more alert, a bit more precise. Dude, you combine that with them playing 14 hours every single day, you can't last in the game. Like it's it's crazy. So, <laughs> so man, oh, I, man, I I I had somebody else ask me that. I don't play Fortnite myself. Um, that's not me saying I won't I won't hop in. Just understand that if I hop in with you, we're gonna be losing. So, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he also says CS:GO and Dust 2. I played CS:GO. Dust 2, I have not. I'm familiar with it. Haven't played it though. We should. Uh, once we're done with this, maybe we should go and get in a fight. Give the viewers something to watch. Sure. We're gonna lose. We're a hundred percent gonna lose, <laughs> chat. Oh, There's shit. no way either of us are gonna stand a chance. I fell. You know what, hey, let's, let's get some goofballiness on. Let's open the crew, man. Let's get some random guy in the crew. I want to make sure that they're appropriate, though. So I, if they're at the moment they're inappropriate, I'm kicking them. Uh, yeah, you know what? Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Is that? Uh, you know, 99% of the time, people don't even have mics. So. Yeah, let's just keep it closed. Because I also think they're going to be a little confused with what okay. we're talking about when it comes to VV, so... <laughs> Yeah, true. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Sven says he frequently wins solo non-ranked. Damn, dude, how... Okay, so maybe I'm wrong, but last time I played that game, that game was in... Like, I could not survive for more than a few minutes on end. It's the same with Warzone, though, from Call of Duty. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, I think, what have we got here? We got a... Where's your food? Oh. Oh, it's not even here. I'm taking this to the wrong bloody place. Hey, attention, duck. All right, that's what we'll do. If we, uh, if we find a skelly ship or something, we'll go attack that. All right, cool. Uh, this isn't going to end well. Oh, are we in the fog now? Whoa! We are in the fog, yep. I'll get to preparing. We good, we good. It's still above the surface. Oh, I need way more than one piece of wood. Um... Uh, should only be one hole. And another one. Thanks, Fog. <laughs> Brace for impact? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. But yeah, Sven, back to your question, man. I'm, uh, I'm more than willing to hop into the game sometimes, so... DM me over on, uh... X is probably the best spot. And, uh... We'll figure out, you know, best times to play and stuff like that. But, and that goes for anybody else in the chat. If you guys want to hop into the streams, you guys want to chat Vivi, and there's a, a specific game you guys want to play, let me know. Um, I want to make sure that there's like a collecting aspect to the game, though. So, um, we can at least do that. Uh, but yeah, let, let me know, and we can we can set up the times. The more, the merrier. So. <clears throat> uh, we need Karen, man. Karen. Oh yeah, Karen. That's uh, that's what everybody calls the Kraken. <laughs> I was gonna say a Karen. I, I I don't need some lady like yelling at us right now. Hey. <laughs> uh, Karen is the Kraken. Meg is the Megalodon, obviously. Sven, hey, man. That, hey, there's a skelly ship right there. Let's go. You should, uh, Sven, you should stop by WebV Weekend this week, uh, weekend as well. Lots to talk about. Hopefully I see you there, man. The VV Zombie. What's going on, brother? I see you commenting on the channel all the time, too. I appreciate your support. I seriously think you should take over marketing for VV. Big disconnect and what they think they're accomplishing and what they're achieving with their brand. I will pay that. I, I totally agree. <laughs> Who said that? 
I gotta be careful with what I say here. I don't want to piss off anyone. Uh, <laughs> I gotta remember this is live. Who said that? I'm on board. <laughs> I'm on board. No, I appreciate that, man. I, I think the team knows they're being quiet. I uh, I gotta say I'm a little frustrated with uh, how they've responded in some ways as well. I know they were they were quite quiet with the BB Comics uh, ordeal. Um, all I can really say is thank you, though. I've reached out to the team. I've tried uh, tried giving my advice and stuff like that. That's all I can kind of do at this point. So, hopefully, they keep building, providing the great drops that they are, and uh, I can create keep creating uh, VV content. So. Oh man, this guy's gonna sink straight away. Smashed him. But I appreciate the compliment. Or the, the compliment. If I'm completely honest, though, I think shooting cannonballs off a ship and uh, streaming gaming is a little bit more fun. So. <laughs> Dude, my aim is terrible. Oh, do we sink them? Yeah, but sloops are notoriously the hardest to hit as well because they bounce up and down on the waves. Is he sunk? Yeah, he's sunk. Oh. You know what's uh, another game you and I could play? Uh, Des up? Destiny. I don't know if you've ever played it, but that game has so much to collect in it as well. Whoa! We got somebody shooting at us, or what? Uh, no, it's the island. Oh, yeah, there's somebody oh, on that island shooting right. a cannibal. Ah, yeah. uh, skeletons. Skeletons. They shoot Jesus, from that far away? Damn. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> they shoot from miles away. Uh, that scared the crap out of me. Um, yeah, no, I don't know Destiny. Man, honestly, dude, I think you're the one who's going to make my gaming education because I don't play a lot of stuff. But I'm intrigued by a lot of stuff. So Destiny, a little backstory to that game, uh, the early Halo games were created by a studio called Bungie. I'm sure you know them. Um, nope. No. Oh, wow. Uh, that <laughs> studio ended up uh, leaving the game. They got bought out by a studio called 343 Industries. And then uh, Bungie created a new game called Destiny. And uh, that's... I've heard of Destiny. I just don't know the game. Yeah, so it's kind of like they're... Uh, I don't want to compare it to Halo, but it, it definitely has kind of Halo vibes at times. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's a space game, travel between planets. And uh, the thing you can collect in that game that's really fun is like exotic weapons. And uh, I've never yeah, played right. it. I've never played a game who whose designers like make better looking weapons. Like this game, their designers are on something. Okay. That's interesting. They're really, really fun. To and I know it's a very well-known game as well, so I mean, that can't be for nothing. Yeah, it'd be loads of fun. Oh, wait for me, wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. Yeah, that's all right, man. Sales are up. More treasure. What is uh, this? Oh, the chest of grogs. Whenever you carry it, you're drunk. You'll be drunk have in this you, game? Uh, have you not gotten drunk in this game yet, Oh, man? shoot. I see what you mean. Take out... Take I out, see what you mean. <laughs> dude, take out your... Um... Here, check this out. Oh, dude, I don't like this. Oh, hell no. Take, take out your... Uh, what do you call it? Your... Um... This thing? Goblet, oh. whatever they call it. Uh, this. Yep. Now skull that down. Dude, the details in this game are awesome. <laughs> now come back to the grog. They refill it. Oh, it again. Oh, dude, when I was picking up this chest, I was already drunk. Yeah, you ain't been proper drunk yet. <laughs> Refill your cup and keep drinking. I'm not trying to make the viewers sick here. 
I can't, dude, I can't, I can't even, I can't even fill it up. Like, I can't even stand straight. I can't. <laughs> oh my god. The sound effects, oh my god. The sound effects in this game, though, are uh, on point, I gotta say that. How long does this last? <laughs> oh, dude, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, look at your bucket. All right, this is a good trick. When you're vomiting, take out your bucket. It's a good way to blind your opponents. Just throw your vomit on them. Yeah, you're drunk. You can tell. You can't even... <laughs> <laughs> Dodge. I can't, man. I can't do anything right now. Sven says, playing on PC, uh, PS5, Xbox, PC. So I am playing on Xbox, and Duck is actually playing on PC. So it's a cross-play game. Um... Uh, it's only just been released on PS5, in fact, because it's always been an Xbox exclusive. But I don't think there's cross-platform between PS5 and Xbox, or PS5 and PC, I'm not sure. Unfortunately, there never really is cross-play between uh, Xbox and PlayStation. Those two got their uh, big rivalry going on, so... Yeah. So I think the cross-play is only between Xbox and uh, PC, because it's, you know, Microsoft. Where are we going here? Um, oh, come here for a sec. So you, you vomited your bucket, where are you? Where are you? You go up oh. to your enemy, and you blind them. Yeah, you and missed. And then you kill them. You missed. <laughs> I missed oh, you? shoot. Uh, no! I fell off. Dude, I fell off. No. <laughs> so, where are we? Oh, shit. Where, did I pick up all that loot? I didn't even pick up all that loot, did I? Oh, damn it. I am... Yeah. Oh, I hope there's no sharks, dude. I'm not matter. Dude, this is... T I know this is a game, but this is still terrifying. Let's go do something interesting. Let's go find some action. What do we got on? Is there any events going on? VV Zombies, if you're interested in Metaverse, uh, Earth 2 is a project I've invested in three years ago, and they're about to launch the crypto, which is, which you mine in-game. Yeah, Earth 2 is, uh, I believe that's what Randy covers, right? And it maps out square... Yeah, it is. And uh, I, I actually, like, back in the early, early days of VB, there was, like, three guys doing videos on VB. There was Poor Man Printing, there was Cavell Anderson, and there was another guy called Earth2 Mastery. And that's how I found out about it. Okay, okay. I see. He was well into that. But, yeah, uh, Randy is well into uh, Earth2. I mean... I don't know how much he talks about it because I don't watch a lot of Randy stuff. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, but I know he's invested in it. That's with Matic, isn't it? Uh, he's Matic. Yeah, has I, a, I, has I a couldn't currency in there. I couldn't tell you. Oh, we got 18 likes on the stream. Damn. Thank you guys for the support. Appreciate that. Um, he had another question here. What was he saying? BB Zombie. They end game or their end gameplay looks amazing. Yeah, I'll have to check that out more. I um, I, I do know what you're talking about. I just I never really followed them if I'm completely honest. So, um, I'll take a look at them. Sven says, "Oh, he did meet you at a uh, Crypto XR, dude." He says he's he's uh, he says he did see Duckin on Crypto XR. Did not meet him next year probably. Yeah, I'll be there, man. If it's on next year, I'll be there. So if you're there, we'll hook up, man. Have a beer. Dude, Sven's awesome. I, th I think actually you two would probably that get was... along really well. Oh, dude, and that Crypto XR event was so good. Uh, please don't be explosive barrels. Oof. Wow, you jinxed that one. Um, Yeah, man, like that, that pub that we took over. Cool. It was just called Le Pub. Pretty funny. But, uh, man, we had some great nights with the entire VB family there every night. It was brilliant. 
I'll tell you, that's the reason why I'm going to Vegas this year. Actually, I haven't announced that, have I? For anyone watching who wants to know, I am going to be uh, going to Vegas. I already got my accommodations, actually. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to try and hit up New York Comic Con as well, because that's right across the border from me. I'm in Niagara, so... Um, that is on the 17th. And, uh, go get a tattoo from, uh, from Arcade. Yeah, I probably will, actually, but... NYC is on the 17th. My birthday is on the uh, on the 18th, so I figured uh, why not? That would probably be a good one to go to as well. So um, that'd be awesome, man. Vegas is going to be the event of the year for sure. But Crypto XR, man, yeah. That uh, when Vibesman released that video, I was talking to a couple people who were at the event, so I had an idea of like, oh, it's, it was it was fun. You know, lots of things were happening, but or at least with the community, but. I definitely uh, underestimated it until I saw uh, Vibesman's video. Oh, yeah, man. That was a cracking good time for everybody. It was amazing. And, uh, like, I mean, this was a crypto event. This was nothing to do with NFTs or anything like that. It wasn't a Vivi event. Vivi just had a stand there. Really, just for us, because the U.S. has been getting everything for so long, they wanted to, you know, mm -hmm. show their heads in Europe. And Vivi was by far... Wow, getting uh, the, the the booth that got the the most attention out of any other thing in that crypto event. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Man, we had like everybody else who was there for crypto coming up to VV just to see what the hell it was. Well, why is everybody over there, sort of thing? It's amazing. It was awesome. Yeah, that's. I why don't really know where I'm going here, man. I don't know what we're doing. So. Oh, do you have any quests? Let's do a um, quest. Well, we still got... Got this one. Oh, we still got this uh, vault to do. So, I mean, we, I guess we can continue with that. Where do we need to go? Cool. I appreciate Oh, that. this is a uh, skeleton fort. Let's go do the skeleton fort. Lead the way. I appreciate uh, everybody who has tuned into the stream and dropped a like. I got to be honest with you guys. For everybody watching, I was a little nervous to run this first one because uh, I know all the content that we typically do is VV related. And, uh... Have we got another skelly ship? Yeah, I was gonna say, here's something. But, um... Like I was kind of mentioning earlier, for anybody who just joined, I, I feel like gaming is a really good... I, uh, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I feel like gaming is a really good, uh... Way to kind of show you where things are heading in this direction. That's what you're screaming at. Okay. Yep. Oh, damn. Uh, I don't think uh, I at any... least he's filling up with water in this storm. I don't have any cannonballs, dude. Downstairs. Uh... Yeah, we don't want to fight him in the storm. What are these chain cannonballs? Uh, those, they break uh, the masts. If you hit uh, an enemy ship's mast, an enemy player ship's mast with that, uh, their mast will uh, break, and they'll have to repair it if they want to put their sails back down. I see. Repairing. They're down, I think. Yeah, they're sunk. Alright, so I'm gonna circle back around so we can get that loop then. Uh wait. We can go left, right? We can make that. Yeah yeah. We've only got the front sail down, we'll be good. Well, you know what, actually? Now that I think about it, Stormtroopers is dropping, so maybe the next game we can play is uh, Star Wars Battlefront. We can play yeah, as some actual... Yeah, not a bad shout, that. Yeah, we can play as some actual uh, Stormtroopers. 
I've never played the game, but I'll uh, have a go on it. So is it on um, Game Pass? It is. Ooh, let's do it. I lost I'll that treasure. That tomorrow. I don't know where it is. Uh, there'll be some birds in the sky just above it. Can't be far. What does this skull do? Does it follow you? Uh, that's uh, that marks the. Um... Where'd you go? I'm at the front. That marks of the the skeleton fort. Oh, you didn't put the sails up. Shit. Oh my bad. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit hard to see it in the storm, but that's all right. We'll find it. Oh, yeah, the uh, the skull in the sky just marks where the uh, the skull fort is active. We're going to go do it. Matthew Lambie, is your ex-profile picture a guy with a pirate hat and a gun? Yes, it is. Actually, that is my Yar, fault. Yeah, that'd be me. <laughs> that's Aye, my fault. That's I'm, me. That's what. Right. I'm going to link your profile in the description, so anybody who wants to follow Duck, you guys can uh, do that down below. Give me a sec here, actually. Ah, oh, no point following me, mate. Oh, on, on X, maybe, but I don't do anything on YouTube. Well, hey, somebody, uh, somebody's looking for your profile. <laughs> Alright, it's going to be a while before we can spot this treasure, I think. Ouch. Uh, yeah. Why are we still on fire? It's Actually, raining. in fact, guys, yeah, I'm about to die here. Um, the image that I used in the thumbnail, the guy wearing the pirate hat, that's Duck, so that's his profile photo, but I'm gonna... You know what? Might as well catch some stormfish. Let's say they're like leeches, I think. Oh, I can see the loot right in front of us. Okay, there. Sorry for the silence. Um, his, uh, his account's in the description now, so anybody who wants to follow, go for it. Uh, what are we saying here? Ah, come on, this stupid storm. I think we've got a hole, just by the way. Yeah, I just died. I'm just respawning. Oh, yeah? Uh, we got two holes. Oh, Matthew Lambie actually says that uh, he met you at Crypto XR. Oh, Lambie, yeah, yeah, I remember Lambie. He's a champion, man. Oh, oh, he's a real funny guy, man. I had a lot of fun with him. VV Zombie, your production content is fire. We need people like you to elevate the look, feel of the community. Keep up the amazing work. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. I, I know I don't show my face or anything like that, so that's just why I try to provide all the uh, the on-screen content. That way you guys have something to look at, but I appreciate you noticing. Yeah. What's everybody uh, looking up in the market lately? Anybody in the chat want to uh, share some uh, nice collectibles they've gotten recently? Actually, speaking of which, dude, did you see my post about uh, the 007 ticket? <coughs> when was that? That was like uh, about a week ago or something, right? Uh, a few days ago, yeah. What's today? No, no, no. Yeah, I saw something about the 007 ticket selling. Uh, yeah. Somebody bought a Secret Rare Aston Martin as well, like the, the one there's only seven of. Yeah, I had a member in my Discord, and he was actually the number one wallet on Vivi last week in terms of purchases. He uh, he tripled the number one wallet. That uh, really? Yeah, thirteen hundred and something purchases, wow. and one of them was a uh, the 007 ticket mint number three. So that was a 
very motivating to say the least. <laughs> Jesus, man, I've only just hit 160 collectibles for the first time. I don't know, man, I can't relate to that. <laughs> uh, well, this guy's, uh, from my understanding, he's he's in like nuclear fusion, so he's not some like entry level job or anything like that. But... Oh man, I man, good on him. Oh, I long for the day I'm able to do that. Absolutely. I long for the day. Inspirational. Oh, it's gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make it happen. Bring back the old days, man. When the when the flips were good. <laughs> ben says he went broke on the comics. Yeah, I heard a lot of people that have uh, kind of gone crazy on the comic side. Although to be honest, man, how can you not? I say how can you not? I haven't gone I any, but. I, there, there's, yeah, I mean, you wake up and they announce 200, 300 new comics. For the comic heads, they're probably going to go crazy, for sure. I can definitely understand that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think I saw a post from somebody, I don't know who it was exactly, uh, saying uh, about this new app, saying that it's just another nail in the coffin of uh, local comic book stores and all of that. And I got to totally disagree on that, man. Like, I think that they've probably gained more customers as a result of these VV partnerships than, than what they've lost. Mm -hmm. I don't see anybody giving up their physical collecting in favor of digital collecting. But everybody who started collecting digitally, not everybody, but a lot of people have started buying physicals. Uh, we got a sh created a lot of comic fans. I think that's a ship in the distance. And I'm just still Do trying to get it? this ship stable to pick up this loot. Matthew says, whenever I, I land got a, a question for the chat. Yeah, go for uh, it. For all you people who have been uh, breaking your banks, buying all these comics, do you actually read any of them? Wow, double whammy. What was that? Did somebody shoot us? No, you got struck by lightning twice. What? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? And again. <laughs> Is it because I'm holding my sword? Uh, I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, Matthew says, whenever I land a decent comic oh, on DV, I, I usually go buy a second one from the marketplace so that I have inventory for selling later. Yeah, that's smart. David's always said the same thing. He buys three. Do, do the exact same thing. It's always smart to think ahead, that's for sure, so... Is that just barrels? Is the loot sinking? No, there's something shiny right there. Oh. Yeah, but there should be a lot more. Oh, oh, it's sinking! Oh, I'm going down. Stay there. Oh, I'm going down for it. Alright, well, I got everything in the water, it's so... Deep. It's deep. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get any of it. Digital verse, welcome, welcome. Got the Superior Spider Man Return number one, Mint 23. Release here and publication mint on the VV Comics site. There you go. That's nice. Duck was actually just saying not long ago that uh, he got one of those as well at Crypto XR. What's that? The um, London Police? No, Superior Spider Man. Oh, yeah, the, the Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite happy to have that, man. Like, I wouldn't even really... Like I said, I'm not really into comics, but just the fact that it's got the VB logo on it. And it was right when they announced that uh, we could uh, get the CGC slabs with the VB logo on it now, too. So I'm going to send it off to CGC to get it slabbed and graded. Yeah, dude, I can't wait to see more that of those comic cool slabs. Collectible. That's going to be cool to see. Um... What am I doing here? Why are we Ooh, we got a couple of other players on the ferry here. There's other people on the server. So, here's an answer to your question. Sven says, hell no. 
I have no time to read the comics. Oh, for the reading the comics? Yeah, I just <laughs> buy and put them on the mountain. Uh, I just buy and put them on the mountain of comics he has. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, that's why I'm, like I said earlier, that's why I'm going to end up buying a bunch of comics is just for the cover art, man. When we can display them in the, uh, for sure. In the VVverse, I'm going to want them on my walls. Yeah, yeah, I'm exactly. But I really couldn't give a toss about the comics themselves. I'm right there with you right now. I don't read them, I like the cover. Um, Matthew at Crypto XR on Saturday at Le Pub, which I believe you were actually just talking about. Uh, I was wearing a one piece hoodie, and David, you walked across the room and stopped to talk to me. He pointed at my hoodie and said he's working on getting one piece. Oh! Little insider uh, info. Did there. he really say that? Wow. <laughs> oh. Okay. One Piece would be amazing. That new series, too. What do you think about that? Have you watched it? I haven't watched any One Piece, man. I'm only just recently getting into anime because of my daughter. I'm just finishing up uh, Demon Slayer, which I fucking love. Uh, but the next the next two on our list are um, One Piece and uh, My Hero Academia. One Piece is super cool. Out. Demon Slayer, man. I, I don't know if you uh, want to talk about that. I haven't watched it, but... People keep telling me how that anime is different from all the other animes, and I'm considering starting. I don't know because one. I don't know anime, but it's fucking awesome. Oh yeah, the art style here is a little different, but well, it sort of changes up. Yeah, I mean, like you got that sort of classic anime art style, but then there's certain parts where it's much more high, high quality animation, almost not not really 3D animation, but something in between the two, and um. Yeah, no, I really, really enjoyed it. The characters are cool. So, yeah, I'm only just starting my anime journey. So if you've got any good ones to suggest to me, you or the chat, let me know, man, because I'm thirsty. Yeah, that's all chat for you, man. I, uh, I'm right there with you. I don't really know too much, but I'll consider watching Demon Slayer. Um, we got some more stuff here. Uh, from VB Con or from VB Zombie, the new comics are pretty undervalued. Two-digit mints compared to Floor. Or where the arb arbitrage is. I'm not fully understanding that, to be it's honest. It's funny, because we were just saying before that we think they're overvalued. <laughs> well, I, I, I do think that they... Yeah, I'm going to stand on that. I do think that they are overvalued. Yeah, I think um, so too. Can you touch on VV releasing all those new comics all at once and what they might have been thinking? I just don't see where that was ever going to be a good idea. Miss opportunity in my book. Uh, well, I mean, keep in mind, right, like this, the, the VV Comics platform is an entirely separate platform from the main app. So they have to have enough inventory on that platform to begin with, right? They can't just release one or two comics and that's it. Um, so that's one thing to consider. Two is uh, Marvel's own workflow, because they might have their own plans, right? Um, with what they're releasing. Uh, and VV wants to make sure yeah, that that's yeah. all uh, in line with uh, what they got going on, so... I would also throw in there that, uh, you know, like when, when we're buying these these things, we've got it in our mind, like how much it's going to be worth, how much people are going to want it. I mean, we might, even if you're buying it because you want to keep it, you still have those things in mind. That's part of the collecting uh, game, right? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, when, when they do these releases, how much money is getting put into your pocket is not a concern of VB. It's not a concern of Marvel. Uh, they're putting out their products and it's the market who's going to dictate the value of that product in the end. You know, they're, 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 they're not going to scatter releases. If I was them in any case, I wouldn't, you know, determine my release schedule around uh, what it's going to mean to the value of uh, uh, the, the, the collectible I'm putting out in the aftermarket. Yeah, I think That's I... just me though. I mean, people might say it differently. I, I think I think. Oh a no, lot... we came into the world event. Yeah, what is this? This is the world event, uh, skelly ship fleet. Where's the cloud? Oh, it's over there. I think, um... Yeah, we can't do this with two people on a brig. I think it also goes back yeah, to sorry, what... Yeah, sorry, go on. Yeah, I think it, it also goes back to what we were talking about earlier, about how a lot of people are just overwhelmed. Like, I myself, like, I, I, I haven't bought anything, I don't know what to get, there's just a lot that drops, so... A lot of people are overwhelmed. A lot of people were like, whoa, okay, 200, 300 comics. Yeah, that is a lot. Um, I, I don't think it was a bad move, though. I, I think, uh, I think if anything, they, they were providing... What the? 
freaking heck just happened here? Sorry. Yeah, you see that? You see that big red skeleton ship cloud in the sky? Well, we stumbled into that. Oh, we're right on the edge of it, so he's gonna go away. We can't. We can't beat that uh, with two people on a brigand. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so gonna we'll lie. Go. I completely got sidetracked, and I forget what I was just saying there. But, um, oh yeah, I think I think them we're releasing. Talking about people overwhelmed. No, I, I think the amount that they released on the platform is probably a good thing versus a bad thing. I think providing us with more variety at first is better than uh, providing us with a lack of variety, you know? And not only that, I think, you know, a big part of this is to try and attract the people from Marvel Unlimited over to this side of things. It's, uh, I mean, this is... We got a mag. We just ran into him. I think one of the big goals they have for it. So, um... Yeah, I mean, you got to have... If you if you want to go into an already established customer base with a lot of people in it, you're going to have to have the shelves stocked, aren't you? Yeah. We uh, we have a mag here. Yeah, that's all right. When you're next to an island, they go away. Oh. Matthew says, My wife and I went to WWE SmackDown last night. I would love to get wrestling on VV lots <laughs> of characters. I know Jeremy Padawar is a huge wrestling fan, so I reckon he'd be on board with that. He's close to the team, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, we, I mean, we used to see him around the VV, uh... I don't know, the little snapshots of David that he put up and all that. You know, Jeremy Padawar was quite, quite involved back in the day. I haven't heard anything from him in a while, but... Uh, I know he's still on board. I saw something from him just a few weeks ago where he was there that was very pro VV. Yeah, I know he's a big uh, a fan of wrestling, so I reckon he'd be happy about that. I don't know much about it, so I can't Correct speak me on if it. I'm wrong. But... Yeah, go for it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Jeremy Padua the guy who owns the rights to Fortnite? Uh, I don't know about Fortnite, but I know he's had uh, he's acquired the license uh, for like things like Pokemon and stuff like that in certain uh, regions. Oh, dude, do not bring these on the ship. Don't bring what? Where are you? Oh, no, 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 no. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You're carrying oh, yeah. dynamite. You're carrying dynamite. <laughs> I want to shoot it so badly. <laughs> Coming for you. Oh, you... <laughs> no, dude. Dude, you came... You're coming at me when I have no bullets left. Up <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. WWE would be interesting, though. I know that they, uh, it's a big industry, lots of money. Yeah. Anything fighting related has lots Man, of money. Man, bring on FIFA. Just give me FIFA. <laughs> give me FIFA and it's game over. Ben says, I did go for the Spider Boy Scotty Young cover. Really crazy about Spider Boy, uh, lot. With his suit, live his suit. Going mad if collectible Spider Boy drops on Vivi. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people like Spider Boy, man. But uh, anything Scotty Young, dude, I'm, I'm a fan of. Scotty Young. You is know a... what? That's what I was about to say. Is that I reckon they'll probably be like when I do actually start collecting comics again. They'll be the first ones I go for. All the Scotty Young covers. Yeah, I love his art. Matthew says Jeremy Padawar makes uh, AEW wrestling figure at Jazz Wars. I don't know what that means. Do you? Nope. What does AEW mean, man? I'm a noob when it comes to wrestling, so forgive me, but... LBM Bats. I don't know squat about wrestling either. <laughs> LBM Bats, what's up, man? Welcome to the chat. Uh, I love your content. Very informative. What are your thoughts on the Marvel Mighties? I think they're going to play a bigger part in the future. Yeah, I think, um, well, I mean, I, I think, you know, there's obviously a lot of speculation around the Mighties. That's what our community is really good at, right? Um, I, I think a lot of the speculation has come from Vivi just wanting to kind of focus on the series as entry level to begin with, right? So that's why I think they're showing them at a lot of like conventions and things like that is David's made the comment about how uh, they tried pricing those things just under a Funko Pop, right? Or just above or something like that. 
Um, so they, they, they've known for a while, I think, that they've wanted to kind of focus on these to try and help bring users in. And they're obviously pushing them a lot at conventions to do that. Um, in terms of future plans, though, it's it's hard to speak on that, man. I, I think when it comes to spe speculation is always fun. I, I We were mentioning earlier about how, uh, you know, a lot of people think that there's going to be a full gaming department dedicated to Vivi. And I'm not entirely riding that boat just, just yet. Um, I, I think that with the delays with the Viviverse and stuff like that, kind of shows that they're 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 not in a position at all to be taking on uh, um, anything gaming related. I think they need to be focusing on uh, their initial plans, just focusing on making it a better collecting app, delivering the Viviverse and stuff like that. Whether they have plans with Marvel to do more with the Mighties, I don't know. I certainly uh, I certainly hope so, but um. I think in terms of things they can do with the Mighties, there's there's so much, though. I think uh, something similar to what Crypt Toys has kind of done with their uh, their collectibles in AR, where you can use the Mighties to kind of run around. You can do something similar to, like, Clash Royale, where you have a, a, a deck of cards, and uh, and then you can play, a, you know, a card onto the battle, or onto the, uh, the battlefield or whatever it is, the map, and uh, one of the Mighty spawns, and it has certain abilities and things like that. Um, They've talked about gated access in the VBverse. So if you own certain mighties, you get certain access to uh, different parts. Um, and if you don't have access to those mighties, you can't get in. So there's like a, a whole list of things that they can do with them. Um, I think what I would say is the team would be foolish to not do something with them. So I don't know, Doc, if you want to add anything to that, but... <clears throat> well, I mean, the idea that the NFTs themselves could be gamified uh, is off the table. We uh, we sort of saw that in the Superstars interview with, uh, what is it, Brain Gone Mad or whatever it is, the people who uh, did a lot of the collectibles. Game our brain? Well, the thing, but I, I like the idea of what you're talking about, like token gating, like you have to own that NFT for the gamification and all that. The one thing I would say that I think is an absolute no-brainer is that they're important. I mean, they, this is, these, is, these are the, the most important characters that Marvel, Marvel's ever created, all of them. And they're released on the blockchain as FAs, as Marvel Mighties, which exist nowhere else except on VV. I mean, this is a VV exclusive. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is they got up their sleeve for the future of these things, I don't know. I don't even want to speculate. could be anything, but I do think they're important. Matthew Lambie says, Jeremy Padawar has a license for Fortnite for physical toys. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I knew there was something there. Interesting. Did not know that. And AEW is all elite wrestling. So going back to his initial comment here, Jeremy Padawar makes all elite wrestling figure at J Jazz Wars. So... LBM uh, bats could be cool for the Mighties to be used in a 2D fighting game for the kids. Yeah, yeah. See, I mean, like, there's endless applications like that stuff. Um, another one that I have thought about in the past, and they actually just released something similar to this on the platform with the uh, Happy Trees guys. But if you release, like, um, well, I mean, this is on the collectible side, so let's start there first. But if you release, like, different backgrounds or environments, like, um... 2D platformer games like the uh, Super Mario Brothers, right? And then oh, yeah. you can set them up in the Viviverse to create like your own scenes with the Marvel Mighties, right? And then place the Marvel Mighties on the background. Cool, yeah. So that's one way, but then you can gamify that entirely where you you create, yeah, like a little mobile app game or something like that where uh, there's a 2D aspect involved, but... Yeah, I mean, there's there's so many things they can do with these. And what's even genius about it, too, is that going back to that whole point about them being entry level is if they do now offer additional features with them, all those additional features are tied to entry level collectibles on the platform. Right. So it, it helps those new users. It's not like they need to spend a ton of money to buy something that's, you know, high value to experience these things. Um, and that's, I, right, that's, yeah. that's all speculation. But if they do end up going that route, it's smart to do it with the, uh, the entry level stuff. So. All right, gotta get this sail up. All right, this is where you need to know the harpoon turn. 
Because we're about to crash. We are? Except... Is that a boat? No, we're not. Oh! Harpoon turn, mate. Swift and clean. Trick. There you go. Look at that. What are we doing here? Like it, love. Is this another uh, quest? Yeah, we got the... the uh, this is the end of our quest. If you look at your uh, your torn up map where we've been looking for the pieces of the map, well, this is the island, right? And you'll see now we've got the piece of the map that has the X on it, so you can go dig up the chest, and that will give us the key for the vault. I shall return in Uno Memento. Coolio. A little fireworks show for everybody watching. There you go. I think VV did a good thing with VV Comics, but people in community did not wait for the platform. I think they made so much delays by pushing that platform. What do you, uh, Sven, I don't know if you want to elaborate. What do you mean by people waiting? Because I, I wasn't aware of the platform coming. Um, I know that there were some uh, beta testers or people from the community who were brought in to help with feedback and stuff like that. But um, when it dropped, it was a complete surprise to me. So uh, I think Dan had mentioned that it was like a year and a half in the making or something like that. But over the... Over the past year and a half, I haven't heard anything about VV Comics or any plans for them to uh, have dropped that platform. But, <clears throat> but I, I completely agree with your first point. I think VV did a good thing with VV Comics. Absolutely. My 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 only thing here, and uh, I'm just gonna be kind of like real straightforward with this point, is I really hope they don't overcomplicate it like they have done with the MCP program because. If they now start releasing app after app after app, and we have four or five different apps for people to have to download to fully understand what's actually happening with VV, that might be a little uh, a little too much for, for new users. So that is something I'm a little concerned about. Um, I'm going to keep my eye on it, but um, it also depends on how they implement the uh, platforms too. So. For a second, man. Yeah, do your thing. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so, yeah. So, yeah, we weren't aware we wanted other things first. Yeah, yeah. So, to your point, I mean, the one I can relate to most is going to be the VVverse, because obviously you guys know I've been waiting for that for a while, and I'm, I'm eager to get in. Um, I, I completely agree. I, I do think that that type of stuff probably should have been released first, especially considering all the points that they've talked about with it being, you know, right around the corner. Um... Dan, Dan's last comments about the VVverse were in December, right? And his last comments made it sound like they were right around the corner. Like they had 30 collectibles to import and, you know, they can flip the switches. Um, and we're obviously sitting in March with, uh, with none of that having happened. So um, completely agree with you there, man. I'm frustrated as well. This VVverse needs to, needs to open. They need to get on it. I'm not saying they aren't, but... They don't need to be teasing us about the VVverse anymore. They don't need to be uh, making any promises. It's just get her done and release it. So completely agree there, man. Matthew says, but Vivius for sure had to meet the deadline of the South by Southwest because if Marvel was going to announce it, it had to be ready. And a few shortcuts were made to meet that deadline. Yeah, that okay. I can also understand that for sure. If it was planned for the event. Um, I think some points to add to that, though, is... There are advertising things on their website. What is he doing? There are... Um, they're advertising things on their website like instant delivery, for example. And not everybody is experiencing that. So they need to be careful with that, in my opinion. I think that they should be taking stuff like that off the platform in the meantime until they completely figure that out. Um, so I can, un I can understand your point about how they, they were trying to maybe meet some deadlines. But as a result of them trying to meet those deadlines, there was obviously a lot of hiccups and bugs that happened with the launch. And uh, 
with the with relation to um the whole instant delivery thing people paying the money leaves their wallet and then they don't get their comics not even right away but for my understanding people were waiting like a couple of days several days some people actually i don't even think got the comics but uh that's the type of stuff that i think they need to be careful with the way the comics work can be done with music buy the digital music somewhere and to be able to upgrade the collect to a collector edition nft the album art Oh, I guess in a similar way to uh, the way they have it structured for the comics you're talking about, for the cover art. Or sorry, not the cover art, but upgrading it into uh, an NFT. I, I really like the way that they uh, they introduce music on the platform. I, I think it's I think it's unique. Um, I think there's only so much we can say right now because there's only one album, but. I, I don't know if they're going to be doing like a jukebox for every single artist or if each artist is going to have something kind of like more catered to them. Um, I've heard people ask that question. Actually, uh, I don't know if you watched that um, interview that Michael Collectibles did with Ron English. Uh, and the way Ron English spoke about it, it sounded like from the discussions that each artist would have their own jukebox. Not yeah. that Ron English would know whether whether or not that's going to happen but that's the way he spoke about it anyway yeah and he he spoke on a space right before that too on twitter saying something similar so the way he's wording it does make it sound that way um and then it also the way he was wording it made it sound like at the end of uh every single series music series there's going to be some sort of airdrop that kind of sums up that series i don't know if this is just going to pertain to his albums yeah. Um, but like the, the example that he used was, oh, like, I think uh, he could only really speak on his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He, he is though, somebody who's super close to the team. So I would not be surprised if he, uh, he knows a lot more stuff than he's telling us, but, um, oh, I think so too, but just to cut in with some sea of thieves stuff, we just finished the voyage. We got the key for the vault and the vault just happens to be on this same Island. So if you want to come over here, oh, sweet. We'll, uh, open up the vault. Here's what you need to know, right? In here, there's going to be a lot of gold. There's going to be a lot of chests. You want to get the chests out of the vault. Ignore all the piles of gold that are on the floor. Uh, there's a puzzle to solve to get the main chest. Uh, I'll do that. So really, you just want to be uh, like climbing up the different levels, getting the chests, dropping them down, and getting them out of the vault. So just come over to where I am. Yeah, I'm just trying to lunge down. Ah. Uh, you know what? Actually, don't bring the ship over here. It'd be easier. But back to my uh, my points about the music thing for a sec. I um I think the way that they dropped it is is really smart because you have the jukeboxes that are separate from the actual music, but then you also have the different variations for the album art and the plaques. So, I, and I didn't realize this at first, but the different variations come with the different um, album cover. So you have those to collect, then you have the silver and the gold plaques to collect, and then you have the jukebox to collect. So you have multiple aspects to just one drop, which is really cool. And then, you know, you extrapolate that across another, you know, a bunch of other artists with their music. The possibilities are, I mean, crazy, so. Oh man, like when they said they were going to be launching music, this was really like, in my head, this was the ideal situation that they would do it exactly the way that they did it. So in that respect, when you asked me earlier, what do I think about the drop? In that respect, I think they nailed it. You know, mm -hmm. dropping the jukebox, dropping the the single, the different, uh, you know, exclusive album cover and, you know, platinum version and all that. This is exactly what I was hoping that they would do. So I I'm think they nailed that. I'm waiting for like the uh, the vinyl record players <laughs> where you can put the record on the, on the turntable. Oh, man, bring it on. <laughs> um, I'm just looking. There's a... Ship coming straight towards us. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah. Little sloop. They're turning. It's a captain's ship. Sloopity sloop sloop. Matthew says that the way comics work can be done with music. Oh, I'm reading the same one. Jeez. 
What do you want? I want to see what he wants before we open this vault. You know what? Let's get that back on the ship. You think he's going to take on a bigger ship? Oh, man. The sloop is the deadliest ship in this game, mate. Make no mistake. Oh. A sloop in the right hands will take down a galleon in the blink of an eye. Galleon is what we're on for context. No, no. We're on a brigantine. Galleon is bigger again. Oh, correction. <laughs> Galleon has three masts, six cannons, two stories. Yeah, Pre sloops. Sloops are what the sweats use, man. The people who are here to troll people, they're on <laughs> sloops, mate. For anyone just joining in, we're uh, we're repping the VV app. Yep. Did you see the dead Bob monkey? Say it again. Where is he? My monkey. Did you see his name? Where is he? And I'll get him out again. You have a monkey? I have a monkey. Yeah. Oh, look at this little guy. What is he doing? Is he trained? Oh, these guys are here. These guys are here. Where? What do you want punks? Oh. What does this monkey do? Well, if you put him down and play music, he dances. What platform is this being played on? Uh, so we're actually cross-playing the game right now. So I am on uh, Xbox. And uh, Duck over here is playing on PC. So uh, luckily for us, we're able to do that. But Hey, you know what we're going to do? We're going to shoot the monkey at them. Where is he? Oh, you can do that? <laughs> yeah. I don't know where he went. Sven, Sven says that you're uh, you're quite informed with this game, eh? Oh, here he is. Oh, I um, I yeah, I used to play this game a lot back in the day. I haven't played for quite a long time. There's a lot of changes that have happened. Oh, is that is that kind of? Oh, that cannon's loaded. All right, we'll put the monkey in there and shoot the monkey. Poor monkey! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I used to play this game quite a lot, man. Um, started playing it the like since it was released, but I haven't played for quite a while. But yeah, I do know. I, uh, like I was explaining to collectors gone digital, I was lucky enough that I started early. There's loads of stuff in the game now, but I got to see it all come out little bit by little bit. So um, I sort of got to learn everything quite easily. But if you jump in, sorry guys, uh, I know I'm pausing a lot, but I'm just sort of looking around, seeing what's going on. Um, if you're coming into the game now, there's so much stuff to learn. There's so much. Yeah, it's a little overwhelming. Matthew asks... Anyway, let's go uh, teach you something. This is going to be the first time I think the Collector's Gone Digital has done this. What is that chest? Matthew's asking if we can uh, have the monkey fire the cannon. Can he do that or no? No, you can't do that. That would be cool, though. <laughs> I appreciate all the support. All right, so come over there, dude. I, I, I got to tell you, man, I was actually really, really and much more nervous than I should have been to run this stream. I did not think that people were going to perceive it. Yeah, really? Um, yeah, we're just well, chilling, chatting, playing the game. But I'm glad that uh, people seem to be uh, enjoying it. So make sure to hit the thumbs up if you are. Uh, where's the Omi oh, talisman? Omi, oh, homie. <laughs> Did you take out the uh, the talisman out of the chest? No, I didn't. I didn't touch anything. So is this monkey just gonna follow That's you around now, or? Yeah, yeah. It's like patting my hand. Oh, here it is. I've got it. Okay. So with these, like, we've done the voyage. You've got to follow that compass around to get the pieces of the map. Then you find this key, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's like five or six different islands that have vaults on them, and each one has a different key. We're just lucky that we got the key for the same island we're on. And come over here. Now, like I said... 
once you open the vault, there's only a certain amount of time we've got. So we want to uh, get all the chests out. Here, put the key here. Oh. Now there's three medallions, just like when we did the tall tower. You know, you got to put the medallions in. If you find one, put it into the same slot, and I'll do the puzzle. But what you just want to do is get all the treasure and chest and everything out of this vault. Ooh. And you said we have a select amount of time? Yep. So I'm going to look at doing the puzzle. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, where's more? Yeah, yeah you gotta climb up and uh, find the treasure and then just drop it down to the bottom. Where are the medallions? Damn it. It's because I didn't make that I sound when see I jumped. Any of the medallions, where are they? How much time are we talking here? Uh, maybe about two minutes. Oh, there's one. All right, I can do it. Okay, okay. I gotta make a noise when I jump or it doesn't work. Damn it. Chest. Right, I should just focus on this stuff first. All right, I need two medallions. I need one more, one more, one more. I can't see him. Matthew says his wife got bit by a monkey the other day. Yeah, no shit. Oh no, twice in one day. My chat is uh cut off a little bit. That's crazy. What the heck? Was that? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get the secret chest, man. I can't find the other medallions. Yeah, I had trouble getting the chest at the very top there. Oh, there's another one oh, here. I'm going to grab those. I'm going to drop them down, man. You just get them out. Yeah, there's just one over here. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's... Is that a medallion you just saw? Yeah, it is. Get that medallion that's next to you, man. Drop it down. Medallion? Where? Oh. Did you, oh, there it is. Alright, do I still have time? Come on. We got two chests over here. Matthew, I gotta ask. Alright, come how down did, and start taking them out. How did Just your wife come get... down and start taking them out? No, they're already out. Um, Alright, sweet. Matthew, how'd your wife get uh, bit by a monkey twice in one day? <laughs> That's quite the story, man. Oh, we got a oh, lot of treasure. Right. Damn, time flies when you're streaming, yes. dude. Got it, got it, got it, got it. We've been streaming for two and a half hours. I did not realize that. We get everything? Yeah, this beautiful chest. Yeah, you got the special one. Is there more stuff in there? You know what, let's just start picking up gold then. Ben says, look at us go. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, you can pick up the actual gold? Yeah, you want to always get the chests out first because they're worth way more. But after that, I mean, you've actually got commendations for emptying the vault completely and collecting all the gold and everything. Alright, so I'm just going to... That's gonna... the last thing you want to do. 
Well, I'm just still working on the chest. I'm just gonna bring him closer to the ship here. Yep, yep, yep. Uh... Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm frozen. Quick scope. Uh, Matthew says we were on vacation. I taught the Rock of Gibraltar. Oh my god, dude, I'll tell you something. Gibraltar is one of my favorite places I've ever traveled. That uh, that rock with the mount the monkeys at the top. I got a story to tell you, but after this, um, and they have loose wild monkeys up there. Yep. She got bit on the thumb and on the and on the back of her arm. I was jealous. <laughs> I bought a <laughs> He said he bought a croissant to feed in his pocket, and when a monkey tried to grab it, the wife grabbed its arm. It bit her. We had vodka with us, so we just used that as disinfectant. That's funny, man. Yeah, those uh, those monkeys are are quite aggressive. I um, I was in Gibraltar. Oh gosh, this would have been uh six or seven years ago now, and uh i I remember at the top there's I'm sure you know there's some ruins right um and there's a section of the ruins where there's stairs and for anybody who hasn't been to this cliff in Gibraltar um one side of the mountain is just a sheer drop, just flat drop in fact, you actually have like fog on certain days like blowing up the side of the mountain from like the uh the the wind. And uh, a section of the ruins had stairs that went to the side of the, 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 or went to the peak of the mountain, but looked off to the side that had the sheer drop. And uh, I didn't know this. I, I ran up the stairs and at the top of the stairs, there